Hi, boys and girls and everyone that's in between. I'm a random guy with a calculator, and today we're going to learn how to convert decimal numbers into binary or hexadecimal representation using a TI-89 or a calculator with a similar format. Let's begin. First of all, you probably already Googled the Texas Instrument and you used the Google to look at all your little googly things and you followed the instructions exactly, you got this little operation right here with the bin and the little arrow operation, all that good stuff, but you keep getting this error over and over and over again. Why? Because the instructions do not tell you the format you need to have when you execute the command. It cannot be approximate on your calculator, which is what a lot of people have when they do you know, calculations of things, they want an approximate value. No, you have to have it in exact mode on your calculator. That's the only downside is if you're doing calculations with other numbers, like you have to keep switching it back to exact. But anyway, so now that we switched it to exact, right here, if I just press the enter button and bring it in, boom, it works perfectly. But you're probably wondering, well, how do I bring it up? Uh, I don't know, what's a quick way to do it without actually having to type stuff? Well, uh, let's do that too. So let's get the number uh, 69. And let's do a little conversion here. So I'm going to go to catalog. And I'm going to do uh, what I'm going to do alpha B to go quickly to where I want to go. That, that didn't register. Always takes me uh, like a couple times to do that. All right, here we go. And then just press enter and boom. Press enter again. Bam. Now, if you wanted to take a decimal or you want to take a binary number and convert the decimal quickly, all you need is this format on the end when you enter the binary number, the 0B. In C language, we have the same representation for binary numbers. So if you know programming, you probably know what the 0B represents. If not, well, I'm telling you right now. So let's, uh, let's put that to the test. Let me uh, take that number and just quickly put it in. Boom, there's your decimal representation of a binary number. Now, if you want to do hexadecimal, then all you got to do is uh, do the same thing. So let's go, oh, let's just do it to the binary number. So let's go to catalog. And this time we're going to go alpha and then look for the letter H that's white. Takes me about two times to do it for some reason. And then boom, press enter. And then you got the operation right there. Press enter again. There's the hexadecimal representation of 69 right there. I hope you guys learned a lot from this. I hope this tutorial is more helpful than uh, some of the tutorials out there. They always seem to forget to tell you you have your calculator on exact mode. But anyway, have a great time and uh, keep on doing that sexy math.